What is up everyone? Here we are. Another beautiful day in paradise. Dude, Nick Panico. The boy just drove down the street living the dream. But uh yeah, here we are another day in paradise. Um living it, loving it. About to go out to Absecan, cut some grass on a bank owned property. Uh, this is crazy. They make me take pictures. They were mad because I didn't take before and after pictures every time I cut the grass and send them to them. That's how crazy that life is. It is what it is. I'm going to do it now. But, uh, this is the place where I had to hatch it up that big branch the other day before I left. But it's $45 a cut and it takes about less than two hours. So I can't complain. I mean, working for myself, that's a pretty good amount of money, uh, I would say. Uh, hourly, making like 20 plus. So, not bad at all, really. Um, if I had like a ton of these yards, I wouldn't really have to do anything else. But cutting grass gets really gnarly after a while. Like, I don't know how people do it full time, eight hours a day. It's it's heavy out in the sun, you know, just cutting grass all day. It hurts your back. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's just not my favorite thing ever, so I don't see it anything. But I'm still grateful to have this work because I got to make money for the dream. But uh, here we go. Living it. <laughs> So I know sometimes it gets over overkill when I start explaining stuff, but I want people to understand that are from other countries and other places, like the layout kind of of where I'm at. So like I'm going to Absecan right now. That's this that's a suburb of Atlantic City, which is connected to the same island that my mom lives on, which is Longport. So I went offshore Longport to Summers Point. Now I'm driving through Limwood, Northfield, and then I'm gonna go through Pleasantville, and then Absecan. So like, it's all offshore of the other part. So like, Summers Point is offshore Longport. And then if you go down to the next town, Margate, then Linwood, Northfield are offshore Margate. Keep going to Ventnor. You know, Ventnor is like, yeah, offshore Vetner is like Pleasantville because there's one road that goes off and offshore AC is like Pleasantville, you know, um, Absecan, Galloway. So I'm going like, I guess you could say north from where I live a little bit. But uh try to explain it. It wasn't that good of an explanation, but that's the claim. Um, Absecan. It's a nice town. You got you, you guys have seen this house plenty of times. It's the house I cleaned out with Kagan a couple months ago. Here we are. First claim of the day. Bank owned property. Been here before. It's pretty much a mansion. I'm about to cut this grass for the dream. You. <laughs> Can't forget the added that uh, 
you really ruin your machines if you don't put this in. They keep in a glue this company so that you can you can tell what's mixed. See the blue? Like and it comes out like blue-ish. I don't know if this is necessary, but I like to swirl it around so it gets in there. All right, just got done that cut, and that's gonna be the, I just talked to the owner of the house. So that was a pretty fast tur turnover for uh, a foreclosure that actually got work done. Cleaned it, the clean out I did, they painted the whole house. That was another guy, Derek Smith. I met him when I was there with Chuck. Uh, me and Chuck pulled up the carpet. Someone else put new carpeting down. They got a mold guy in there. So they did a lot of stuff. Uh, and the grass got cut like four or five times by me. It's pretty crazy. And then someone bought the house already. So a few months. That doesn't usually happen that quick from what I've seen, but uh, good for them. And that's the last time I'm gonna go back there ever. Uh, so that's a wrap on that. And it's kind of falling in a nice situation anyway, because I'm about to move for the rest of the year. So that's one more person I don't have to tell that I can't do the work anymore. So pretty much I only cut one house right now that's a foreclosure as of right now, and that's in Summer's Point. I did that one yesterday. So, yeah. Um, moving on to the next claim. Uh, me and my mom are going to settle on this Summer's Point house, and hopefully they give us the, I mean, they should give us the keys today, and we can go there after, and I can show you guys the house, hopefully, um, which eventually, I was kinda doing the math in my head, and it's gonna take like 15 years, 20 years to actually pay off the house. But I guess that's normal, unless I come into a lot of cash, which has happened before. Last year it did. But um, yeah, if I pay every month, it's gonna take like 20 years to pay off, which is, fine. I mean, I could still live there in the meantime. I'm going to try and clean out Ocean City. I don't know what my dad wants to do with that property, but uh, it needs it needs a new roof or a second floor. The city doesn't like me being there. You know, I've been getting letters. I've been getting phone calls. You know, I got a couple tickets there. I got an abandoned notice on my trailer. Either way, I don't want to deal with the city anymore. I'm just over it. And I think my trailer is either better off in the Summers Point Yard or actually coming with me to Florida. I haven't decided on that yet. And I have about three weeks to decide. But I was just thinking like, you know, I w uh, there's this, when we went to the stunt camp at Kahanas, me and Hob, we slept on cots in a trailer in the swamp. It was pretty amazing, but uh, the roof leaked, and when it rained, it used to hit us in the face and wake us up. It was pretty gnarly. Um, pretty character-building experience, to say the least. But there was a piece of paper that was literally just printed out of the computer, stapled to the wall, and it said, you always miss 100% of the chances you don't take. And that stuck with me, that was six, seven years ago, eight years ago, 26, that was eight years ago, I believe. And it stuck with me the entire time. Uh, I think I even had it in one of my videos from last time when I was there with T-Ward, because uh, I went in the room where we slept. But um, it's so true and people are so afraid of failure that they don't take the chances that they should have because they're afraid to fail and they're afraid that it's not gonna work out. But the problem is you will miss every single opportunity and every single way 
to better your life if you don't take chances at all. And legitimately failure, as I said before, is success. If you fail and fail and fail and fail and fail, but still have the strength to get back up and try it again, you're winning. Even if you never succeed because you have the motivation to go out there and try. And that's success in my opinion. And another thing that I, I heard, I think it was Les Brown said it, you know, if life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. So, a couple things that were inspiring me today to keep pushing and I think that can help a lot of other people. So, for the dream, for the win, never be afraid to start, never be afraid to take a chance even if you think you're gonna fail because that's the only way to grow. What? What's your claim? I have no idea what you mean. Wait, you going to YouTube? <laughs> yeah, you want it to? Yes, do it. What do you got to say for all the boys on YouTube? Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm 26 and I have a trust fund. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> Jump the roof next time. I'll I'm hold good. you I'll hold you up by your legs <laughs> like this. <I'm> good. <laughs> What's the claim today here? Uh, settling on 109 Osborne in Summers Point. Uh, we put actually the first bid down on it in March. So it's been a long, long wait for this. For them to decide if they're going to sell it for the price we offered. And they said yes. So we bathed in foreclosures. I literally just left a foreclosure that I was working on. And buy, buy, my mom is pretty much, and my dad are buying another foreclosure that's eventually going to hopefully become mine if I have enough money to pay for it in the long run. If not, they'll probably just end up making money off it anyway. You will have enough money. Definitely have enough money. But we're going to go here. Hopefully the settlement's not long and drawn out and brutal like sometimes they try and make it. It won't be. Because it is bank owned or bank title owned. company owns it. Pretty I think they're just, bank owned cash deal. you know, like before on the OC property, it was kind of like the lady was there like trying to act like she wanted it still. But this is different. So we're going to go there after at some point today and then you guys will be able to see the whole the whole layout of the Don. The Don Don. They don't like dude, this guy. Is this your boy? <laughs> is that Monica? Is that, oh, what's her name? -y? The guy you went to school with? <laughs> Nice to meet you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. You're our buyers, right? Sign it. No, you're done. We're done. You own it. Wow. How do you feel about being a proud owner of a new house that you're going to live in soon? Well, I'm not going to live in it soon, but I, do. <laughs> I think it's good. It's, it's nice. Gonna be, it's, it's going to be real nice. Yeah, I agree. All right, so we have a list of claims that we're going to need to fix before we can get a CO. I'm not gonna be living in it for at least four months. Right now we're at 60 days and I gotta submit that tomorrow to the Donnie, but we can probably upgrade it to 30 because I think that I can do everything on the list but one thing easily within, probably if I really wanted to today, honestly. But uh, we'll see what happens for the dream. Here it is, boys. Wow, look at this claim. Is this real? <laughs> is this real life, boys? Try and get in here. How big's Naomi? So big! <laughs> this isn't Naomi's house yet. Can you do that to Naomi? She goes like this. Cheap, good, clean fun. We got some birds living in the crib already. Alright, see how it smells kind of funky? Alright, so bam. Front room. It doesn't smell that crazy, I'll tell you no, that. I'm open some no, not so, as been closed up all summer. Master bedroom, I guess they claim. Damn, this is nice in here, boys. This carpet's literally coming up today. No, 
Because yeah. I think you should, here's... Uh, to get the CF first. No, the floors are in great, wow. great condition, but you got a lot of taking that up. But it might not That's be that so big. That's so easy to get up. I've done yeah. that so many times. I would get it up. But first, I would paint and use the carpet as a paint tarp. All right, so this is what we're talking nice here. idea. I'm going to go get a pet. Second bedroom. Bathroom. This is the only bathroom, the main bathroom. There's something gross in there. This is what we're working with here, boys. Closet, making the claim, kitchen, everything is is keep life in here, in my eyes. So they have the sign about winterizing the property. And then this is like another bedroom pretty much, dude. With really, really nice curtains. May I get those curtains down? <laughs> Would you love those? They're coming down right now. Wow, the, this property is nicer than I remember. Backyard. Luxury, boys. How do we get in that? Gonna, gonna have we don't to have a key for that. Cut this grass though in a minute. Uh, I don't know about we'll that. This little shed though. This is perfect for the keep life. Although we'd fill this in minutes. All right, back at the shop here. Scrap life. But I got a few things for uh, the new spot no, in SP here that we're gonna need to start making moves on that plane. Flat shovel for the curb. I'm not sure if there's a lock box, if the key's there or not, but just in case that and I need some, some outlet cover. All right, I loaded up a couple trash cans. Switch plates for the house that we need to put on. I got trash bags, a shovel, and then I got, I loaded up all these trains and stuff that I'm gonna try and sell to, um, this place that buys like collectibles. So I'm going there first and then to the SP house. <laughs> but I got like all these Lionel trains, Linnell and Lionel, and this jukebox. All kinds of cool stuff here. So hopefully I can make money off this like couple. All right, Honda boy sent me a scrap load in this trailer that he fixed up and a trash load here. So they're doing clean outs, they're doing scrap. They're living the dream over there. I think it's him and his dad. But uh, shout out to the boys uh, for pushing the dream on your end terms. I got a video here from Justin's Bird's Nest too. All boys. That is for the boys. Watching the boys, dude, watching the boys. Hell yeah. That's legendary, boys. How, what are you, an engineer, bro? That was crazy looking stuff in the background. I think it was a house layout. I couldn't see because I was looking through the camera, but that's pretty dope. Some blueprints for a house for the dream. All right, I'm at this collectibles store here. I've never tried to sell anything to these people before, but I had talked to them on the phone one time about trains. And we're going to see if they can do anything for me. So I'm going to try and film some stuff. But people get real weird. And uh, sometimes they don't like it. But I'm going to just roll and just have the camera on me. See if I can make money here. This is scrap life, keep life, like uh, resale life. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I got a bunch of like Lionel trains. Do you guys buy stuff like that? We do. Yeah. Be right back. 
bucks. All right, I made 77 bucks on the Keep Life. To be honest, I probably just got so smoked and could have sold them for like $300 somewhere, somehow, if they worked in some reality. But the problem is I gotta just, I really have to just liquidate the claims and just move on. I can't be worried about, you know, I have so much stuff that I have to just get rid of. So it's like, I don't even know. 77 bucks payday though, plus the 45 I made earlier. You gotta just keep pushing. And if I, if I lost money, I lost money, but like I don't want those trains and hopefully someone that does want them will get them. And uh, it is what it is, really. So, moving along to the next claim. About to go to the house in SP and kind of just clean up what's going on there. Check if the meter and the water thing is there. If it is, call the company. If it's not, call the company. So, um, that's what we're looking at right now, boys. Another beautiful day in paradise for the win. All right, this is the key to the new house. The claim is to make more keys. Make like three more. Yeah. I'm like I'm like five keys actually, so I just have them, so I don't have to come back. You guys cutting keys in here? Yeah. Where'd you go? I just want to get. How much are they for one like that? Dollar forty nine. I'll get like five. Sure. Of the same one. You can do that. keys five keys cut probably never gonna have to come back because that is one key for each in my head at least I'm thinking one key for me one for Ben one for my mom and my dad they can share whatever and then one for Sammy when we come back we'll be staying there hopefully if it all pans out the right way all right we're back at the house we're gonna try one of the new keys to see if he cut them the right way. That's the claim here. You gotta cut this grass today. I'm gonna put those in the garage. Still trying to sell them. I might just drop the price another ten dollars. Perfect. That's the claim life right there, boys. You. Shed key, we didn't see this before. But we are about to check out the shed though. Shed life. Oh, perfect boys, perfect. A little bit of keep life in here. I claim. Bucket for the scrap dreams. A little bit of motor oil. We can use that. We can use that. I can work with it. Some trash for sure. And this is a perfect place to put my lawnmowers. I'm even gonna lock this though, like there's nothing. The fuck is someone gonna do in there? So they're making the heavy claims on the phone that this is all on. I don't know why those are taped, but I guess just leave them off for now. So yeah, everything's on. Damn. Let's see this. How's this thing working? Not working. That's what I was making claims on, dude. What? This fucking thing. How? Like I why? Why though, right? What the shit out of that thing. Why are they doing this to the boy though? He's a fat man that cut like 
this thing is so nice. So, right? what did you think of this shit? It's fucking amazing. The universal lock Yee! key. We needed this gone though. Universal key. Ooh, that's that thing's kind of like buttery, buttery though, boys. Like butter. <laughs> I think this is where the water is. Oh, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit, look at all those crickets, bro. Dude, that's a fucking nest. And look at that. What thing. is that and why? <laughs> like Those are not cool. All right, we have we got an electrician on the crew. <laughs> the boy. It's fucking wires. There's a whole list of shit they're trying to make me do for to get the CO, which I don't personally need because by the time the CO even comes through, I'll be gone. But Ben's gonna want it, so this is pretty much for the boys for the dream. Yeah, you need it to be able to rent the place. So well, that's do, true. Just knock this shit out. It won't be hard. So what is it? Uh, we need to install some GFIs in your uh, outlets because after you, because that's code now, and uh, you can't be having the house burned down if you don't have them. So well, what does it do? It trips it out so you don't yeah, get shot. Well, no, it trips so that it will that, and so you don't light anything on fire because if it if it's shorting out, like that. the ground will send the um, electricity yeah, back to the ground, and it'll constantly do that as because they burn. Okay, so electrical's over here. I just, I'm seeing the sign. All right, we needed the GFIs for inspection, so we're, this boy's putting them in for the dream. We'll have this CEO by the end of the night. <laughs> so we can move in. This fucking washer is like plastic, dude. It's a pain in the ass. And then fucking so so a heavy day, an end to a heavy day. Cut some grass, settled on a house that we actually really don't even know what we're doing with. Me or my parents or anyone. It's kind of just like, it was such a good deal. There's no way to lose no matter which way you slice it on the property. So it'll all work out in the end. But, um... Heavy day, yeah, and then I went over there and did some more work on it. I sold some trains, made some money on the Keep Life. Uh, I had a great day. All in all, it's going to be a pretty good video, I think. A little bit of excitement throughout the day, here and there. And uh, I just feel really fortunate and grateful for everything that I've been given in this life. You know, I feel totally 100% blessed every day I wake up. And I think... that it's not everything to do with it, but there's a lot to do with the way I feel and the way I think that keeps bringing positive energy into my life. Um, I was in a rut for a while and I got out of it and, you know, I don't want to keep bringing it up. Like it's, it's the only reason, but like since I've been with Sammy for real, I've been so much happier and so much more positive about my life. And just trying to push it so much harder. It's giving me a drive that I didn't have before. To succeed. And to be something. So. You know. Maybe there was a roadblock. Maybe there was something. Holding me back. In my old life. I think the sobriety part. It is epic too. It's been like. It's been a month. Over a month now. And. It feels so good. To just. You know, Thursday night, before I would have been thinking about maybe going drinking or, you know, doing something to waste my time. When now I can just think about going inside, taking a shower, hitting the computer and making an, es an epic edit from today. Um, or actually from yesterday, because I still didn't put that video out. You know, and just uh, really focusing on bettering my life and moving forward rather than taking a step backwards. But uh, all these things combined, you know, Sammy, sobriety, positive outlook, my, you know, motivation, everything is just coming together and creating such a great life for me right now. And I hope it continues. But, uh, you know, just, and I'm getting text messages from the boys. Will Dirty Inc. on Instagram. He's making me an epic, 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 epic t-shirt design. Go follow him. Um, 
he just got an Instagram back, uh, his Instagram back and running, but, uh, here's his, here's his name and his thing. You guys can see it from there. So I sent him this sticker. He's got that on there for the boys and he does awesome artwork and he's making me a really sick design. I'm not going to show it to you guys cause it's going to ruin it, uh, for the great reveal of later on. But, um, you know, I'm just saying, if there's roadblocks in your life and you know something's holding you back, you can't be afraid to get out of it because I was afraid for so long. But then when I finally took the first step and just went for it, my whole life has changed and I've been so much happier. So I'm out of here for the night. So I'll see you guys in the morning and uh, for another great day. You!